also on potatoes, I'm potatoes, Mark, welcome back to another video. Today, they actually updated housing. That's right, this got, this got updated. Yay, best part. You can have your pets in the house. Oh yeah, other thing. Blind blocks sparkle, and when you step on them, they launch you into the air in the complete wrong direction like every time, but they launch you. And then, of course, there are the new pro tools, which I'm gonna go through all of them. I'm gonna teach you how to use them. It's basically like world edit in housing. Watch, I can delete my roof. I can undo deleting my roof. I can turn my entire roof to bricks. And I can delete my whole house. Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go through this with you guys and show you some of the things you can't do. All right, so the first tool that is up is the region select tool. So basically you left click to set point A, right click to set point B, and it selects all the blocks within that area. Like if I select the top left block of this snowman and then the bottom right, now I've selected the snowman. And once you have a region selected, you can do any of the following tools. You can choose to fill the area with something like snow. I, I I don't really have a snowman anymore. The undo tool, you can undo whatever you just did. Yay! You can use the cut tool. Now there's no snowman. It just deletes all the blocks that are in the area. Obviously I can undo that too. And then there's the copy tool. I can copy my snowman and then if I hit the bottom right block over here, I can paste my snowman over here. Of course, I can undo that too. Anyway, those are the main things that were updated with housing. I probably missed a ton because I'm kind of ignorant, but that's what I'm excited about. Let's just ride my powered creeper around here because why not? Except now I'm going to show you guys some of the limitations of the region selection tool. Let's say you select a region and then you want all the blocks to be slabs. So obviously you choose the fill tool and you put in some slabs, then they have to be on the bottom block. They can't be on the top block. I don't think anyone really cares, but if, if you really want all your slabs to be on the top block when you fill an area, you're out of luck. Second limitation, you can copy parkour checkpoints but it doesn't actually recreate a checkpoint. It just makes it a gold pressure plate. And then you end up with glitchy stuff like this. Yay! Also, you cannot copy social media blocks. And the last thing, which is the thing that probably matters the most, if you copy and paste signs or fill it with something and undo, then the signs lose all their writing. I, 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 hopefully they'll fix that soon. But yeah, I did have a dream of deleting my whole house and then putting it all back. But I'd have, to, I'd have to redo every single sign. A every sign that I have in here, I'd have to redo. I don't want to do that! Anyway, that's pretty much it for the housing update. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And now I'll show you how I transformed the house that I had before into the winter-themed house. Roll the clip!
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If we hit 30 likes, I'll start an upload schedule. Anyway, bye!